Hey, what's up good people sorry I haven't been posting new videos lately but I've been busy with these NBA live streams they've taken up most of my time and energy but I'm still keeping my ear to these sports streets definitely got some things to say about the stories I've heard and read in these last few weeks got a lot of stories to catch up on so if y'all be patient I'll definitely have those videos for you soon Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to another Talking and Grubbing Mini Podcast. Hall of Fame head coach Mike Dicker is back at it again as he gave his response to athletes kneeling during the national anthem on TMZ Sports. Here's what he had to say, and I'll be back with Mike. After hearing those comments, Dicker needs to just sit down and shut up and just focus on being the commissioner of his women's football league. Nobody asks for his opinion, and frankly, nobody gives two shits. You're telling these players who decide to kneel in peaceful protest to leave the country, no, you get the hell out of the country. How are you going to tell these players how to practice their First Amendment right? Who are you to tell these players how to practice their First Amendment right? People like Mike Dicker and people who have his mindset love to say that players that kneel during the national anthem are disrespecting the flag and the military. Let me school you people who have that mindset. The military did not fight for a piece of cloth and a song. They fought to protect the rights of Americans and also to fight the ideals and the principles that this country was built on. Meaning the same men and women who fight for the rights for Mike Dicker to say his BS opinions are the same men and women who fought for Colin Kaepernick's right to take a knee. But what did I expect? Dicker is a 45 supporter. I see why a lot of Dicker's ex-players couldn't stand him. I'll talk about that in another video. I get tired of people like Dicker and people who share his mindset telling these players how they should protest. If you don't agree with how they're protesting, just be quiet and don't say anything at all. You don't speak for the veterans like my grandfathers who fought for this country. If they were alive today, they wouldn't have a problem with these players protesting because they fought for that right. But I'll end it with this. Dicka, if you don't like players kneeling for the national anthem, maybe you need to get the hell out of the country. Anyways, that's my take. What's yours? What do you think about Mike Dicker's comments? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I want to thank all my loyal subscribers for supporting me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't make it your last. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss any new videos from me. Also, like, comment, and share the video. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. QC out. subscribe to the channel when you do click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad follow me on twitter and instagram like me on facebook thanks for watching